Some of you guys know that I was exposed to carbon monoxide in flight. I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm feeling some effects of that exhaust. That wasn't a fun experience for me, which is why I'm so excited about this little guy right here, because it can literally save my life. So what you're seeing here and, and here is a product from Ithra, I think I'm saying that right. But it is a carbon monoxide sensing kit. And in this, it's, it's a little light that goes on the panel. And this is a little box that gets mounted inside of the airplane. And it can sense the carbon monoxide and let you know via the light if you're having a problem. I'm happy to have this because of my experience with carbon monoxide. And literally, this is, this is it. It's just two power wires and mounting these two things. And my, my panels, it's, it's already got like no space left inside of it, which is why I'm excited because this is so small and can give me so much information. This might actually be a shorter video than I thought it was gonna be, but let's get this guy installed. All right, so I did a little work here and terminated these ends so the installation would go just a little bit faster. That, that's boring stuff, but it also had this guy that goes with it so you know what's going on inside of the airplane. And also, at any time, you can connect to this guy via Bluetooth through their app and see what's going on inside the airplane what your parts per millions are at, and trending data. So you can monitor what's going on. But uh, let me show you how this is being installed. So the plan is to mount it right here, but not on top. I wanna mount it underneath so that I can sample the air that's inside of the cabin. But uh, one neat feature this also has is the ability to sensor the light and change how bright the LED is for you. But uh, because of where I'm mounting it, I may not be able to take advantage of that. But the app itself, you can go ahead and change the intensity on the fly as needed on your phone. So I'll be able to take advantage of it no matter what. And then once we get this out inside of the open, we'll, we'll see how that works. And I may end up moving that box inside of the end to, to really uh, take advantage of that light sensor. But here's the plan on the inside. Using a laser level right here, I've gone ahead and got it set up to exactly where I want to put it. And so I just need to drill a hole right there. So the plan here is I'm just gonna drill a pilot hole and then use this stepper bit to, to get the rest of the way there. So uh, I've got this marked out. I think everything's good. So just gonna, that, that looks good. Ah, it wandered. Well, that looks pretty good, and it, it, the light's red, and I never want to see it red, so I'm just going to turn this, this off really quick. But we can get the faceplate on here now, put the screw on the back, and get this mounted, and then we'll get started on the back side. That is locked in and tightened down. You can tell because of all the little scratches that I put right there. So now it's time to mount this guy. Somewhere inside of here, underneath. And that light sensor I was talking about is right there on the front of it. So I'm gonna make that go forward just in case we can get it to work. And there we have it. What I need to do now is drill a hole kind of back here for this wire to go through, put a grommet on that. Then I can plug the two halves together and get this thing powered up. Got that guy connected down there to the main power. So when I hit the master switch, it goes on because I want it running before my avionics do. And then the extra cable I'm gonna tie up. They highly recommend that in case you need to relocate your uh, sensor here. And so and we already talked about that, but let's go inside the plane. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Whew. All right, there it is. I'm gonna hit the master. Oh, there it goes. It cycles through a couple tests here for a second, but then it should go solid blue, indicating that we are good to go. And there it is. Wow. That looks amazing on the panel. It, uh, front and center, we can see what's going on. I absolutely love it. I really am excited about this. So, like I said in the beginning, this is something that can save my life, it can save yours, and it's really easy to install and use. And it comes with an app. So let's take a look at that real quick. 
All right, so I've got it up in the screen here. I've only got one of their products installed, but they have a whole slew of products for different oxygen systems, carbon monoxide sensors. I mean, you're really gonna have to check out their website. They've got a lot of great things can help keep you alive inside of the air. But uh, we're gonna click here on Toxin. That's gonna pull up our levels that are currently in the aircraft. And we are connected to this and it does do audible alerts if you connect your smartphone to uh, your Bluetooth system inside of your airplane. So uh, I'm gonna go to advanced shield settings and you can see here that I've got the light set to high. Yeah, pretty cool little app. I think one of my favorite parts is this graph right here because it definitely allows us to see the trending data inside of the airplane. All right, I wanted to give one last thank you to ITREF for joining us inside of this project. And guys, seriously, check out their website. Like I said, they have all kinds of products for you to take a look at. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a like, share it with your friends. We're getting really close to finishing this. I wanna do startup soon. I'm hoping within inside of the next month of the release of this video. So we're looking late October or early November of this year. But as always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.